how to do the Daniel fast. If you are interested in learning more about the Daniel fast, then you have come into the right place. Stay tuned to learn more about how you can implement the Daniel fast into your spiritual walk. video to talk a little bit more about the Daniel fast. I've done a video on my channel before on how to fast and I got a lot of great feedback from you guys. So thank you for that. But that just made me realize just how much people want to learn how to fast and grow closer to God and build their relationship with him. That is what fasting is all about. It's about separating yourself for a moment, closing out anything that would be feeding your flesh so that you can be built up in the spirit and grow closer in your relationship relationship with God. This video is specifically going to be the guidelines covering the Daniel fast. If you want to learn more about fasting in general, at the end of this video, I'll be sure to link that video so that you can check it out as well. The Daniel fast is a popular fast from the Bible in the book of Daniel. And I want to go to scripture. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Daniel did this fast for three weeks. That is 21 days. Now, a lot of people, depending on their situation, may adjust the fast. So I've heard of people who have done it for seven days instead of 21 days. But whatever you decide, make sure that you're being led by God, okay? Fasting is not a diet. You don't just do it to lose weight but you do it because you want to grow spiritually. And I think of the scripture in the Bible that says that Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. So Jesus had to be led by the Holy Spirit to fast. So you want to be led by the Holy Spirit as well. So I want to talk about some of the things that you can have within a Daniel fast. So you can have vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds, high quality oils, herbs, and spices. Now, some of the things that you want to refrain from while you are on the Daniel fast are the following. You want to refrain from meat and eggs, dairy, processed foods, sweeteners, chewing gum and mints, solid fats such as butter, and also any beverages outside of water. You want to stay away from any meats, anything that is processed or filled with sugar. And you want to make sure that when you are fasting, that you are spending time with God, that you are reading the Bible, that you are studying, that you're being very intentional about spiritual disciplines. And that's the beauty about fasting. It makes you disciplined spiritually. But don't beat yourself up if you mess up one day or you didn't get it perfect. God is looking at your heart. Your heart posture is more important to God. God than perfection. So posture over perfection. So I hope that gave you a basic understanding on the Daniel fast. Of course, it is recommended before you do any extreme fast, especially if you have underlying health conditions, to make sure that you speak to your doctor first about it. Speak to your primary physician. Also, if you are pregnant or you are nursing, you may need to adjust the fast as well to make sure that you're giving the proper nutrients to your baby. So definitely use wisdom in everything. God will give you wisdom. Them, but I'm super excited to announce that this video is actually the first video to a series that I will be doing on my channel, a Daniel Fast series. So I will have upcoming videos sharing my experience with the Daniel Fast. I will also be sharing some Daniel Fast recipes. 
So if you need some recipes or tips on what to cook during that time, then definitely hit the notifications bell on my YouTube channel and subscribe so that you do not miss out whenever I put out these new videos. And I wanna give you guys a free resource and gift today. I created a free fasting guide to basically help you along your journey of fasting. So definitely click the link in my description box to download your free fasting guide today. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on there where I share encouraging posts and more. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time, bye.